I had an online romance. We broke up earlier this year. Okay. He was an artist from Morocco, and the shocker came when he told me his age. Well, the shocker also came when you stayed with him despite his age, but it's okay. We are past that now. Though Debbie's date, Russ, might need a little time to process the Usama of it all. How old was he? Don't judge me. 24 years old. I kept it a secret from my kids. Oh, jeez. Russ is probably like, okay, now I get it. This is why this woman is on a reality show. I was looking to get married. Oh, Debbie, stop. Stop while you're ahead. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Hey, 90 Day Fans fam, it's Melicia. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you are doing well. I send you my love. Let's all take some joy in watching Miss Debbie prepare and go on her first date after her breakup with Usama. <gasps> okay, that was petty of me. We are actually glad that breakup happened. So let's give it up to Usama for showing his behind. Go, Sama. We gotta go get this taken care of fast. I gotta get ready for work. So you need backup? Come on. You need backup? I need, I need you to hurry up. Come on. Back it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> She's a hoot. Yes. At the top of the episode, Debbie's son, Julian, who is a police officer, takes her grocery shopping before going to work. What are you doing? Can I be the official no, laser you, person? You can officially put that down. <laughs> And during the ride, Debbie, who was 67, reveals that Usama, who was 24, is still reaching out to her consistently. And has been persistent. There's a, there's a special feature that's called block. But she gives the gist that she's moved on, similar to what she told me a few months ago. Have you spoken to Usama since you left Morocco? Yes, I've spoken to him quite a few times. He wanted me to return, to get married. He's the one that always reaches out to me. I just want him to find a nice girl and have a beautiful future. And I've learned from this experience and I hope he does too. Well, one of the things Debbie has learned is to date older. But Julian's now watching out for the guys she's talking to. I got into an online dating site. What? Wait, I'm sorry, but how cute is this woman? Thank you, Malicia. I love you. You're wonderful. Love you too. So are you, Debbie. Just a bundle of lighthearted joy. <laughs> All right, back to the show. I got into an online dating site. What? So we're, we're just going down the rabbit hole again. You're going to meet another Osama. No. As a matter of fact, I've met a nice man. His name is Russ. He lives here locally. What's his full name, date of birth, and social security number? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Debbie goes on to say that she is done with the boys. I'm looking for a real man that I can look up to and respect. I know that's right, as she should. We then get a glimpse of her text with Mr. Russ, including a good morning gorgeous and a message about missing her. Plus, he's ready to finally meet her after flirting over the phone. But Russ has no idea what he's in store for because that woman right there, she is one of a kind. You don't come across a Miss Debbie every day. Well, how old is this guy? Around 60, but you know mama doesn't like to lie. That goes against my nature. Oh Lord, what are you gonna say now? And I lied about my age. I told him I was 57, and I feel terribly guilty for doing that. Why'd you do that? Why I don't know why. I was scared if I put my real age of 67, nobody would want to meet me because that is not true. Julian, how do you know that? I get how it's hard to hear someone you care about say that, but I understand Debbie's logic here. I don't condone the lying. But I would guess that there are more men around 60 on dating apps than there are men around 70. Not saying that there aren't any, but I think if Debbie were to put her real age on the app, she might have to sift through some scammers and the dating puddle, as she calls it. It's a little mud puddle. It's not even a pool. Would get even smaller. You know, if Debbie doesn't end up finding love on her own, she should apply to be on the next Golden Bachelor. Could you imagine Debbie on that show? I don't know how she'd handle the man she's dating kissing other women, but I know she would be entertaining. 
so much so that the producers might want to make her the next Golden Bachelorette. Then she'll have plenty of options. I know, wishful thinking, but all that to say, I hope Miss Debbie finds love. So, I'm crossing my fingers when it comes to Mr. Russ. Where y'all going? And I'm sure not telling you, you'll have a damn SWAT team waiting over there. After the whole summit incident, it was, it was hard to pick up those pieces. And that's why I think online dating is a bad idea for my mom, because if these people tell mom anything, she's going to believe it. And I, I just don't want no one to take advantage of my mom. Lord have mercy, mom. I, I just don't understand what goes through your mind sometimes. I need to give you my pepper spray. That's what you need to take on the date, is my pepper spray. Don't worry, Julian. The cameras will be with her. <laughs> I get his anxiety, though. After what they went through, it would be hard for me to either let Miss Debbie on the internet. I would get her one of those flip phones where you can only call people. It's so interesting how when you get older, your parent or parents can start to feel like your kids. It can be stressful. Your hair is gorgeous. Okay, Debbie starts to get ready for her quote, hot date with Russ with the help of her friend, Raya. I never in my wildest imagination thought I'm back here in the dating scene. I thought Osama was gonna be my husband. Yeah, we didn't. And if it did happen, I was not betting on it lasting for long. Mm -mm -mm. She was about to sell herself short. And I want a guy that's looking for the beauty within because everyone's beauty's gonna fade sooner or later. So you wanna get up in the morning and know that you're with a good person. Debbie starts trying on looks and she has a ton of options. I want him to look at me and say, damn, she's drop dead gorgeous. She'd definitely do that in that outfit. But I don't want to intimidate him either. <laughs> Miss Debbie sounds like me, but sometimes I'm like, forget it. If he's intimidated, he's not for me. Because this girl right here loves a look. But I do think there's some wisdom with playing it safe with your makeup and your outfit on the first date. Don't shrink yourself, but make sure your overall look isn't too distracting so that person can be able to see you. But second date? Your girl is popping out. Where is he taking you? Well, it's not ideal, but he's taking me to go play mini golf, okay? In my mind, I had visions of an, of an enchanted evening with wine and dinner and a sommelier. It's like, okay, I didn't expect mini golf, but I figured, okay, I'm all in. See, so all my single people out there, not getting the first date of your dreams is normal. Sometimes our imagination can set us up for disappointment, but I think Debbie has the right mindset by still being open to having a good time. What about this one? Oh, that's Boom. gorgeous. That's Bang. the one. Oh, yes. I love how Debbie's looks are already put together in her closet. Talk about organization, the jewelry, the jacket, everything. This makes me feel good. Yes, well, if that makes you feel good, that's like 100% of it. That's the one. Oh, we all need friends like Raya. Fast forward to the date, Russ is inside waiting for Debbie. Let's take a look at his reaction when she walks through the door. Hi, it's me. How are you? Doing good, yeah. Nervous? Yeah. I am too. <laughs> it's good to finally meet you. I know, tell me about it. Oh, look at Russ, he's nice looking. And I like how he admits to being nervous. I found that sometimes sharing that can help calm your nerves. My name is Russ, I'm 60 years old, and I'm from Covington, Georgia. Let's go play some golf. Go play golf. I met Debbie online probably five, six days ago. Oh, he's not wasting any time. We went back and forth, back and forth, then here we are. I love your outfit, by the way. Yes. Do you really? I do. The shoes do it. Oh my gosh, it looks like monsters. That reminds me, that looks like my ex. <laughs> Damn, Miss Debbie. <laughs> Russ has no clue how serious she is. I wouldn't mind that as a decoration in my living room. That's pretty that would cool. Work, wouldn't it? Aw, the two start playing mini golf together, and Debbie finds out Russ is good. I come here every Thursday. Ah, it makes sense to why he chose Putt Putt as their first date. It's where he feels comfortable. I'm not mad at it. 
Don't mind me while I watch it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, I may not have a butt rush, but I got ass at. Last time we heard her say that, she literally fell off an ass. Okay, Osama, slow down, please. My, I don't have a butt. God didn't give me a butt, Osama. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, thank goodness for what time can do. Months ago, we were so worried about Debbie and her love life. Now, we're excited. I'm still nervous. You seem more self-assured and maybe well-seasoned. Nah, if I seem self-assured, that's a fake and a phony. No. It's very uncomfortable to be in the online world and, and sifting through mud, looking for gold. And it's like, I had a feeling you were a real sincere person, loyal. But I told a lie. Russ is looking like, oh, shoot. Debbie finally tells him the truth about her age. OK, what's your lie? Well, I'm 67 years old. I lied by 10 years. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It's just a number. You? When Debbie told me she was 67 instead of 57, it was surprising. Okay, Debbie, that's a compliment. She lied, but I also get it. That was a successful game, I thought. I think so, too. Would you like to go get a drink? Yes, indeed. <laughs> How are y'all feeling about Debbie and Russ so far? Do you think they're a good match? I think he's a nice guy, but I'm still trying to figure out if I can see them together. Fast forward, they go to a restaurant to get drinks, which, okay, Russ had a, a nice plan for their first date. But once they get inside, Debbie drops another bomb on him. Now that I have my liquid courage, I want to be upfront with you because I admire you. I had an online romance. We broke up earlier this year. Okay. He was an artist from Morocco. And the shocker came when he told me his age. How old was he? Don't hate me. How old was he? Don't judge me. 24 years old. I kept it a secret from my kids. Oh, jeez. And I was looking to get married. Ooh, Debbie, you are telling too much. I appreciate the honesty because these are things he can find out. It played out on TV, but <laughs> watching it is cringy. And I was looking to get married. But when I got there, he became someone I didn't know anymore. And guess what? I packed up my bags and I got my butt back to the United States. Real quick. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, Russ, do not watch the episodes. At least not right now. Give a chance for the love to grow. I don't know if it's just me or if it's a good or a bad thing, but learning too many details about my partner's most recent relationship early on does affect the way that I view them, whether I want it to or not. I'm processing Morocco, processing 24, I'm processing. <laughs> I mean, I would never expect to know that much on a first date. Well, I had an awesome time. Um, it was definitely an experience. I don't know about you, but, you know, I'm still kind of interested in going out again. How about you? Sure. Yeah, he's still processing. Are you almost ready? Mm hmm Come on, I'll walk you out. Okay, sounds good. Russ must think I'm crazy as a loon. But I felt obligated to tell him the truth because I want to build a solid foundation, not a foundation with a crack in it. I feel that. I hope I didn't overshare and scare him off. I've already had my fair share of screwing up. Russ clearly still processing. You know, I'm proud of Miss Debbie. She put herself out there again, which I'm sure was not easy, and she was being herself, which is always the best way to go. If she did end up oversharing, so be it. I believe if Russ is meant to be in her life at the moment, it won't scare him off, which based on the teaser for next week, it looks like it's not going to, unless Debbie found her a new man. 
We've been talking every day and have developed a really strong bond in a short amount of time. <laughs> He's given me hope. What is going on? Well, let's just say Miss Debbie must be prepared. Miss Debbie got her groove back. Okay. <laughs> All right, 90 Day Fans fam, thanks for hanging with me. Make sure you stick with ET because we are covering it all. I will see you next time.